doing. You have to see yourself doing or being the person that you want yourself to be. You have to vision what you want. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Renee, if you're new here. And my channel is all about motherhood, lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. So if those are some things that you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn those post notifications on so that you know every time I post a video. So as you can see by the title, this video is me unboxing my new camera, the Sony ZV-1. And this camera is like so popular across YouTube and vloggers and everything like that. It's just such a compact camera. I was just excited to get a new camera upgrade from my phone. There was nothing really wrong with my smartphone. It was just a simple fact that trying to record on your back screen is like just really hard when you're on the go because you can't see what you're recording and when you record from the front it just doesn't give the quality that the back camera gives so it was time for me to upgrade and level up and get a camera so i chose the sony zv1 and i'm going to show you guys the unboxing of it and i'm going to show you guys a few accessories that i got that were from amazon that i will link down below that's my baby in the back. I know you don't want to hear me rambling about this camera. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what is in the box and what I got. Okay, guys. So this is the Sony ZV-1 um, inside the box. This is a box that it comes in. It comes in a little tiny box because, like I said, the camera is very compact. It's very small. So, yeah, this is the box. This is what it looks like. And it has the SKU number and everything like that. When you open the box, it comes with these like papers. Um, comes with these little papers and it's just kind of like the manual and everything like that. Because this is such a beginner friendly camera. Like I can't express that enough. And I've seen so many YouTubers talk about it. It's, it's just a really good camera. Who really cares about the manual? I know y'all just want to see the camera and what's inside. So when you open this little flap, here is the camera. It comes like a little bit like this. And the camera comes in this little baggie. And here is the first look. Boom! The Sony ZV-1 camera. This is such a compact camera i mean i cannot express it enough like it's so light this could literally fit in my pocket like it's so light and this is the back this is the back of the camera the top of the camera the buttons are very simple and very straight to the point they have a, just only a few buttons mode on and off record button picture button zoom button and this button i'm not exactly sure um what it is but yeah like it's very straight to the point with the buttons and some cameras have like so many buttons on top on the bottom on the front side and it's really hard to use when you're a beginner so this is why i really love this camera because i don't know anything about cameras but what i do know is that this camera is very easy for me to use i'm talking about this like i've already used the camera but <laughs> Basically what I'm telling you is that from the first impression of me being a first time camera person or whatever, this camera is very straight to the point. It's very simple. What I really love about this camera and what really sold me on this camera was the simple fact that when I record, I can see myself. Now, when I record on my phone and I'm recording on the back screen, I cannot see myself, especially if I'm on the go. There's no way that I can see myself on the camera or on the screen. And using the front camera is just not as quality as using the back camera on your phone. So this is why I really wanted to upgrade just because it's like gonna be really easy for me to just quickly record and everything comes out and it turns out like this. It also can twist and turn in in order to protect the screen. So I love that as well. 
and then there's just like a few buttons like i said there's not a lot of buttons on the camera there's some scroll buttons and all of that so that is kind of like the first look of the camera also there is a speaker on the camera and apparently this speaker is very good i've seen people test it out on youtube trust me y'all i did my research on this camera i did not just go out and buy the camera that i first seen in the store i did my research and a lot of people had a lot of good things to say about this camera so it also has this little um i think they call this a cold shoe or something but it it's just where you can put like an external mic an external light a little usb um cord to charge the camera with the battery inside and it also comes with it its own windscreen so you can attach this to the camera at the top and it's basically for when you're like outside or like on the go and there's like it's like windy or something like that, this is when you would use this. It would cover it where you wouldn't hear all the wind in the back. So that's another good thing that this camera came with. And then it just came with obviously the battery. Obviously because it has a smaller battery, it's gonna have a shorter battery life. If you do get this camera, just make sure that you buy some extra batteries on Amazon for like $20, especially if you are, you know, recording long videos and stuff like that. You don't want your camera to die. So definitely um, invest in some more batteries for your camera. So the little battery thing is on the bottom where you put the battery in and it just opens like that. And then you put the battery in and it makes a little click sound when it's in. It has this little blue thing, oops. It has a blue little holder so that the battery stays in place. That's when you know your battery is in. So I'm just gonna close it and lock it. You have to make sure you lock it and I'm going to turn it on. So I'm gonna take this little windscreen off because I don't need it. This is the camera quality now i don't know if you guys can really see superb especially for the price and everything like that so it just gives if you want to be a youtuber go ahead and do it don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it and that you shouldn't buy a camera invest in yourself invest in yourself i'm not gonna go too in depth on the camera settings because um I'm just trying to show you guys, kind of give you guys an idea of what's inside the camera, what it looks like, what I got to go with the camera, and things like that. I only got three accessories for now. Um, like I said, I'm only a beginner. I'm not a professional photographer or videographer. So I only got a few things that I've seen other people recommend. The first thing that I got was the Ulanzi Cube Light. So this is what the box looks like. I haven't opened it actually and it comes like this so it comes with a usb i don't know how i'm gonna keep up with all these little usbs i just don't know how i'm gonna do it but and it looks like this Ooh, okay Ooh, that just makes me look better already whoa that's bright i'm gonna be blind by the time i finish being a youtuber hopefully not but it comes with a few buttons um to turn up turn down on and off and the usb plug-in to charge it the thing that i love about this light is that because the sony zv1 only has one cold shoe this light has three so even if you're adding this you can still add your microphone which i already have this uh, this is the movo microphone and so i can just literally put that on there and then I can also put this wind screen in there if I need to. I mean, obviously I wouldn't need to, but I'm just giving you guys an example of what you can do with the accessories that I have. So I am going to try to put this on the camera. So it just slides right into the camera and then you just tighten it just to make sure that it's on. And that is the setup. Let me turn the light on again. So you guys can see i cannot believe that i'm about to be like a real youtuber because now that i have this camera i'm about to like go so much harder than i ever had before because i just know like 
I really need to step my game up. I bought a camera and I'm speaking this into existence. Like I'm going to be more consistent in 2023. I'm going to grow on YouTube in 2023. I'm gonna grow on social media in 2023. You have to speak the things that you want into existence. So just a little motivation. If you wanna become a content creator, don't let anybody stop you. I can't stress this enough. Just do it. Even if you only have your phone, just start. Just do it. Just put the videos on. Even if you don't know what to do, do anything. People want to see what you have to do. But yeah, that's 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 another story for another video, okay? So that is the light. The next thing that I got was a camera tripod. Now, this is the Ulanzi camera tripod and I also seen some good reviews on this. Um so let's open it up. So this is what the tripod looks like. I guess this is like a little GoPro extension and it feels very sturdy and it comes out. You can unscrew it. I love how it's very sturdy and you can just literally open it and close it it's not hard to open and close i don't have to twist anything or open anything to do it so also this it also comes with three little legs where you can stand it up i can't really show you but where you can stand it up the handle feels very sturdy so let me just go ahead and screw this on this also has another um cold shoe so you can put I, I hope that I'm not embarrassing myself and saying cold shoe and that's not the right term for it. So y'all let me know in the comments if that's the word for it. Because if I'm just saying stuff that I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna be embarrassed. <laughs> so you just screw it right on to the camera. So screwing this on here, it's feeling very sturdy. Ooh, this is a very sturdy tripod. I already love it like so much. And it's like lightweight, it's easy to hold, it's not like hard to hold. I like this a lot. It's giving. So let me turn on the light and see how I'm gonna be looking. And let me take this off. I'm gonna put this microphone on the side because I don't want to have it on the top. I don't wanna have too much like on the top. I'm gonna put this on the side and screw that on just so you guys can see the um, versatility with this also another thing that i didn't show you guys um the plugins for this camera it comes with the hdmi so let me just open all three of these so that you guys can see there are three plugs that you can put in on the side a headphone microphone jack um the usb cord and an hdmi extension so i can plug in my microphone in and yeah so this is my setup so that's actually I'm like so excited to start this person. If you are a person who films a lot, make sure you get extra batteries. You don't want your camera to be running out of batteries. And like I said before, the smaller the battery, the shorter the battery life. So I got this um, battery set came in this little box right here. And it comes like this with three little batteries. So these three little boxes are batteries. Comes with these, let me show you what the batteries look like. Open this box, it comes in a little clear case. And then when you open the case, they're not the same brand, but they are this, the batteries that are compatible with Sony ZV-1. It comes with this little battery charger, which can charge all three of the batteries at the same time. So let me just take all of the batteries out and show you guys how it works so i think you just put the batteries in like this put one battery in so let me just put the rest in really quick so this is what it looks like with all three batteries inside and what i love about this is that it shows um these little lights so the red just means that it's like low green means that it is fully charged so that's what i love about this last but not least the most important thing that you're going to need is an s d card you cannot film without an sd card and it's best that you get the most gigabytes that you can when buying an sd card i got the 128 gigabyte sd card you can get this for less than 25 dollars and let me tell you if you want to film in 4k 
you must have a SD card that is 128 gigabytes or more. You cannot use the 64 gigabyte SD card because you will not be able to film in 4K. I already tried using one. I had to come and get this one because I couldn't use certain settings without a large amount of disk. 4K videos um, take up a lot of space or they take up more space than a regular HD video would. So you definitely want to get the largest SD card you can if you, if you are filming a lot of content. So in order for me to open my battery thing, I'm gonna have to take off this tripod. I did see somebody um, talk about that in their video that when you are changing your battery, you have to take off your tripod, which can kind of like maybe mess up your setup, um, like basically like the angle that you were at or whatever, if you want your video to be in like the same angle. That's just like something to keep in mind. But honestly, it's not a deal breaker for me. You know, it's just something that I'm gonna have to do when I am changing my battery and my SD card. So I'm about to just put this in, just click it right in and it makes a little click sound when it's in. So that is when you can start recording. And I am going to insert a video of me on my camera, preparing image database file. So let me put this tripod back on. Oh, that light is bright, honey. That light is bright, honey. Let's turn it down a little bit. Cause I feel like I'm going blind. So there's a um, feature where you can soften your skin. It's really good. So I'm gonna turn that off though, because I don't want that on. Let's see. Okay, I like that way better. I don't want my skin to be soft. I want my skin to look how it looks. So let's record. Hey you guys, this is how the Sony ZV-1 camera looks like. It is very good. The quality looks so good and this just looks really good. I'm super excited to be using this camera, to have this camera. It's just like really exciting and it's like, it's a moment for me. I'm still kind of learning the settings and everything like that. So it may not look, you know, like the best, the best. You cannot say that this camera is not quality like I don't care what anybody says the camera is quality and it looks good okay so I see so many people using this camera and maybe I just have to alter the setting so I, I don't know how it looks because right now I can't see it on a bigger screen but from my screen that I am looking at it looks really good and I love it so let me show you guys what I am talking about when I say that the autofocus on this thing is so Per, let me show you. So you're looking at me and now you're looking at this. Look how easy it focuses on one thing. Come on now. You guys cannot beat that. Like this camera is so good. And, and I don't know anything about cameras. It's just so good. So this is the full lighting and it's just giving. Like if I come up close, let me see. If I come up close, how do I look? So much more quality. And then it blurs my background, which is also another thing that I like. I love the blurring background effect. Let me show you guys what it does look like when I turn on the skin softening effect. So this is the skin softening effect. Um, this is with my lighting level up. It really does look good. Like it doesn't look bad. Like, I'm looking at myself and it doesn't look bad. It looks really good and it looks really quality. So guys, this camera is like so good and I just, I can't get over it. Like, I'm so excited to start this new journey. Like, this camera is actually like just giving me motivation. I really feel like this is my time, this is my year. And I'm just really excited to go through this journey with you guys and share my journey, share my testimony because when I do, um, you know, get more followers and subscribers and when I do grow and I'm really up there, I really want you guys to see that like, you don't start at the top, you start at the bottom and you take your steps up. You take your time 
and you know you do things when you're ready so i felt as though i was ready to invest in a camera just because i just i just feel like it was time something was telling me like girl you need a camera you need to step your game up you need to really do this youtube thing and i'm just really excited y'all y'all don't know how how excited i am for this journey because i know that i'm about to like discipline myself and tell myself every day like girl you need to get up and you need to do your video or you need to edit your video or you need to post your video like you guys if you want to do something you have to keep telling yourself you have to have discipline you have to see yourself doing or being the person that you want yourself to be you have to vision what you want because if you don't vision it if you don't see it if you're not saying it this is what i'm gonna be this is who i'm gonna be this is how i'm gonna do it then you're not gonna do it so you have to go for everything that you want and you have to work hard you cannot slack this is me investing in myself this is me at the beginning this is only the beginning i only have 44 subscribers today what's today where's my phone my phone's up there where's my other phone as of february 10th i have 44 subscribers it is 2 33 p.m i am coming after everything i want i'm going after everything i want and if i gotta slap myself in the face to get back on track and do what i need to do and be consistent then that's what i'm going to do so I'm really excited to take you guys on this journey and I know that was like a whole whatever that was that was that was just like a kind of like a motivational speech because I, I'm just really feeling good about this and I really see myself going far with this YouTube channel so I really am happy if you got here to the end of this video thank you so much for watching this video um I can't thank you enough to the 44 subscribers that I do have and I know I haven't posted in a while, um, but this is the day that is going to stop. I will be posting at least once or twice a week. So if you don't see any posts, you need to, I need you to be on, be on, be on my pockets. Like, girl, where's, where's that video at? Where's that makeup tutorial at? Where's that vlog at? Where's that weekly vlog at? Like, y'all, we all in this together. So like I was saying, if you watch this video, if you got here to this point, I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope that this kind of like informed you and kind of maybe helped you if you want to become a content creator. So yeah, so I will link everything in this video in the description box below. Make sure you comment down below what you would like to see, what kind of content you would like to see, you know, talking videos, story times, questions, Q&As, vlogs, like beauty tutorials, like whatever you guys want, let me know because I will give you guys what you want. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button in the box below. And this video should probably be up on Saturday, February 11th. If it is, give me a thumbs up because I am doing what I said I'm going to do. Now, the end of this video was fully in the Sony ZV-1. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the difference. But yeah, so I'm really excited for this journey. And I hope that you guys like this video. And the next video will be up soon. So stay tuned. And like I said, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And turn on those notifications so that every time I post a video, you will be the first one to see it. Alright, that is it for today, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Ciao. See you guys next time. And I will see you guys next time.